Uh, Ryan Jones, uh, Director of Operations. Patty Reese, Executive Director of the Volland Foundation. The Volland Foundation um, seeks to offer presentations that are uh, nourishing to the spirit and are also entertaining. Um, we uh, have a residency program for artists and uh, poets and writers and scientists and, and um, musicians. Um, and we give them time and space to spend in the Flint Hills and to connect with our, our community. We think that's really important. Yeah, we're typically open Friday through Sunday, one to four. And we're always, always open by appointment. Um, if they call or email us, we'll make a point of working something out where they can come out to the store. Um, we have um, a gallery where we have art exhibits and talks and presentations and conversations with artists and authors and so forth. And we have a ruin where we present music and theater uh, productions and that's an outdoor venue. It's new. We just opened it in June of, of 2022. We have a nature uh, trail, a history and nature trail that is kind of circles the area of the, the property of the Volland Foundation. And it honors the history of Volland, which has a very rich history. And it also gives people an up close and personal look at the ecology of the tall grass prairie, including the tall grasses and the wooded draw, which most people don't think of as part of the prairie, but it is very much so. So my husband and I bought a place in the Flint Hills about a mile and a half away in um, 20, 22 years ago. And driving around, we saw this boarded up building with not many windows, but very straight brick walls. And we knew that it just had such a history of, um, of life in that store. So when there came an opportunity for us to buy it, we bought it mostly for those stories, but also because it had strong brick walls and we felt like it could be an asset to the community, having a place for people to have events. So we bought it and we um, kind of put it back together and we opened it in June of 2015 and we repurposed it as an art gallery and a gathering place for the community and for people from other places as well. In, in developing the artist residency program, um, we, we currently have a house, which we call the little house, where artists can stay, and it's and, and a loft, in, which is on the second floor of the store. And those spaces are really um, perfect for writing, for uh, doing computer-based work or photography, that sort of thing. But we needed a painting studio, and we needed a big one, and we needed one with lots of light and lots of space. And we looked at the interior of the house, and it was, as, as most of them were, pretty chopped up with small rooms and a stairway right in the wrong place. And um, so um, we've been working with architects, and we just blew all of that out, and it's just going to be this wonderful big light space that will soar to the ceiling, and I think it'll be an inspiring place for artists to work. And the addition on the back <clears throat> will kind of serve to, to facilitate everything that goes on in the front program. So you can imagine a kitchenette, small little bathroom, um, kind of storage area for supplies and whatnot. Well, for one thing, it's very important to, before we begin the renovations on the studio house, um, to have some funds in hand to be able to do that. And, and the other thing that I think is really important is for people in the area to know about us and know who we are and what we're doing and um, come and see us and to garner that kind of level of, of close support that only a community can provide. We're just thrilled to be part of um, the match day. We're very grateful to have been selected. I think it's, you know, Vaughan mm -hmm. sees itself as a part of a larger, you know, regional community. And this is such an excellent way to, to get part in that community, as Patty had, mm -hmm. had shared. You know, this is, uh, uh, the other organizations are doing just such incredible work. And to be alongside them for, for match day is, is a great honor. Mm -hmm.